everybody i'm extremely excited that you get to join me today thank you so much for joining me on today's episode of sessions with ella okay. today we're going to be discussing the top 20 jobs in demand globally they are also regarded as the fastest growing jobs or fastest growing career of 2023 and over the next decade. And I did this research from articles from Forbes. I got some articles from Google. I worked with ChatGPT. I made a couple of research and I've put together this top 20 jobs that are in demand globally. In the next video, I'm going to be discussing with you if you need to enact a career change. I'm going to be asking you some thought provoking questions that would help us both arrive at a decision for you if you need to change your career path if you need to upskill or if you need to reskill okay but for today we're only going to be dwelling on the top 20 jobs in demand globally without further ado guys let's get right into the video so guys I'm gonna be starting with the fastest growing trade careers or what we would call the blue collar jobs right i know that so many persons are mostly about white collar jobs but trust me there are a whole lot of blue collar jobs that are hidden gems and these are the two blue collar jobs that are predicted to be very fast growing over the next decade so the first one is wind technicians or we call them wind turbine technicians and i can understand where this is coming from given that energy is huge and the conversations around getting alternative sources of energy has increased in recent times traditional sources of generating or um, of generating energy i know that conversations around generating energy from alternative sources like the wind i believe that that's where this is coming from and the average pay for these jobs is sixty thousand dollars per year the second career that is predicted to grow the highest over the next decade blue collar jobs would be solar photovoltaic installers again this is also speaking to energy right so the solar photovoltaic installers are able to basically convert sunlight into energy that can be used for industrial or commercial in um, purpose. The third fastest growing career on my list is in the tech industry and data scientists. Obviously, we're told that data is the new oil, right? So um, there's big data all over the place being utilized by Fortune 500 companies. And whether we like it or not, Organizations would continue to need to milk these data and so data engineers are in high demand right now and will continue to be over the next decade. Same goes information security managers, cyber security managers and technicians, everything that has to do with cyber security. With the introduction of AI and the explosion that tech has seen um, within this um, period and in the last in this century, pretty much, the explosion of tech has also made organizations very vulnerable. The large dependence and the large exposure in this dig digital age for organizations to technology also actually exposes organizations a lot and makes them vulnerable to threats and risks that are coming from within the technology space. As a result of that, cybersecurity managers and information security managers will always and maybe forever be in demand, provided we continue in this trajectory that tech is going. Okay, in the tech industry as well, I'd like to highlight another career that has been predicted to grow rapidly over the next decade, and that will be web developers, software developers, full stack developers will forever be in demand because we will need to continue to build application that would continue to drive organizations at this time. These web developers and full stack developers and software engineers are predicted to continue to be in demand. And this is regardless of the tech layoffs that has um, befallen the tech industry in recent times. Now, within the medical space, within the healthcare industry, nurses, well, I can understand why, right? Nurses. We always say that nurses are angels and that's the absolute truth. Kudos to all the nurses out there. Um, 
nurses are still very much in high demand globally regardless of the country you are in the country you are you were planning to go to nurses will always be in high demand and i think one of the good things for nurses as well is the fact that you have the opportunity to do multiple jobs to do a lot of overtime and amass so much money it's never too late i know so many adults who probably did like totally different on um undergraduate degrees and are nurses today it's never too late to get into the nursing space for anyone who is interested. Another career that is in demand in the healthcare industry has to be medical and health services managers, right? Medical and health service, health services managers, not just the doctors themselves, not just the core practitioners themselves, but the managers who oversee the running of the either the hospital or the pharmacy, the healthcare sector. And that is because more organizations, more healthcare organizations need to stay afloat, need to stay profitable. And sometimes when you are in it as a practitioner, you are not able to have a bird's eye view of all that is going on within the business and how to keep the business going and how to keep the business profitable. And that is where um, the healthcare managers come in. So um, whether you have a medical background, you want to make sure that you also have a good understanding of the business side of things. You probably want to do an MBA if you have to, right? Or you have to just get all those certifications and educations that help keeps you grounded in the business side of healthcare. Okay. And also in the, in the, in the healthcare space, we have physician assistants that are predicted to be in high demand. So I know that there are so many people who probably are not interested in becoming the physicians themselves themselves well good news for you if you also like to support i'd like you to know that physician assistants are predicted to also be in high demand people who pretty much just stay around the physician and support him in his deliverable right he also to provide support more right. jobs within the tech space um while they have not been predicted to grow as fast as the other three tech jobs that I mentioned, these tech careers are also pretty much in very high demand today and will continue to be for a long time. The next one would be artificial intelligence and machine learning experts, and as well as robotics engineer, right? Robots are required in across different industries. It's actually making us work smarter. It's making uh, businesses deliver faster and will continue to be in demand robotics engineer we also have ui ux designers as well as cloud computing engineers cloud computing um specialists solutions architects and all of that right these are the careers that are in high demand in tech so if you are thinking of getting into a tech career and i want to streamline to some of these tech careers that i have just mentioned also within the energy space we also have renewable energy engineers that are in high demand i told those guys energy is huge right that industry is huge and it is high paying whether it's the white collar aspect of that industry or it's the blue collar aspect of that industry energy is a very viable profitable industry that will be there forever as far as i'm concerned and renewable energy engineers have also been predicted to grow rapidly and it's currently one of the jobs that is in high demand um generally also we can be looking at environmental engineers environmental engineers not only feature within the energy space they can also be across industries but environmental engineers and specialists are also pretty much in high demand assistance so I'd just like to delve into the social media and e-commerce space for a while and just mention that there are some jobs there that are currently hot cake as I'll call it and pretty much in very very high demand content creators will be needed every time content creators I mean all the effort that goes into creating content especially now that we know that okay so the said data is the new oil content must be the second um biggest thing happening to e-commerce experts or e-commerce specialists are also very much needed today 
given that i mean does anybody still shop physically yes i know we still do but the percentage of shopping that happens online almost every business has to have an e-commerce site to it at this time so e-commerce experts and specialists are definitely 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 also in high demand today and predicted to be over the next decade now when it comes to businesses generally like generally speaking every single business regardless of the industry would require a financial advisor would require a financial expert right so the financial skill is still top-notch as well as management consultants because then again you need somebody to have a bird's eye view of the business. You need your strategy in place. You need all of the engine that is, you know, driving the business. You need them to be working all together, right? And that is why management consultants and financial analysts will always have a place, will always have a job, would always be relevant in the grand scheme of things. As well as project managers, right? Whether it's the traditional project management and the waterfall style, or it's the agile project management, you know, or it's the agile methodology, project management continues to remain a pivotal part of every um, industry, a pivotal part of every organization. And so yes, project managers will still be very much in demand and are predicted to be over the next decade. Okay, so the last two um, jobs I'm going to mention today will be sales representatives, sales professionals, as well as supply chain and logistics professionals. Every organization, regardless of the value that you are giving anyone, a value that is not adopted by customers, that is not adopted by clients, it's not that much of a value and so sales professionals will forever be relevant in the scheme of things okay as well as supply chain um, specialists now I have given an overview of all the jobs that are currently in high demand that is not to say that if you do not belong to these category in any manner or form or if you're doing a whole different kind of job it doesn't mean you need to be worried about anything however there are conversations to be had okay um, conversations around the career prospects for wherever you have found yourself at this time right because at the end of the day, I believe that your career is a very good driver for the kind of life that you want, the quality of life that you want to lead. In the next video, I'm going to be asking you some thought-provoking questions. I'm going to be stirring up some thinking that would make you decide if you actually need to reskill, if you actually need to move out of where you are right now into something else so that you can secure your future i'm also going to be sharing a few insights about how to navigate that change going into a different career or going into a different skill or starting afresh as it were okay if you would stay with me and join me then in the next video i'm going to provide sufficient insight on this thank you so much for joining me today um, i'm really excited to hear from you guys and i'm looking forward to seeing you on the next episode of Sessions with Ella. Bye!